This week, coming to you from Bowling Green, Kentucky. My name is Max Maxwell, and this is Cake Take. My take on cakes. Hey guys, my name is Max Maxwell. I play in a rock band in Louisville, Kentucky. We play 25 to 40 weddings every single year, and I love wedding cake. All kinds of wedding cake, every flavor of wedding cake, I love them. So this is a channel to maybe help folks find the perfect wedding cake, or if you had an event coming up and you wanted to get a cake or a pastry or a uh, cupcake, whatever it might be, um, hopefully this will help you find that. Thanks again for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. Subscribe doesn't cost you anything, not a dollar. Also, watch me on Instagram, at CakeTakeMax. Uh, follow me. Uh, check out that. I show stuff every week on different bakeries I go to, and it's, it's pretty interesting. This week, I find myself in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I own a company that installs sound systems, design sound systems, video systems, all that kind of thing. And uh, I had to go meet a client uh, right outside of Bowling Green. So while I was down there, I went to a few different bakeries. There were four bakeries down there that I really wanted to go to. I could only get to three of them because one of them was closed on a Monday. Uh, a lot of bakeries close on Monday. But I, I have checked them out and I really, really want to taste one of their cakes. They're called the Cake Shop. Uh, they make some really cool looking things um, and design some custom uh, ideas. So that might be somebody you want to look at. But I got to see three wonderful cake shops. The one in the center here is uh, Little Fox Bakery. The one on the outside is, is Kokomo's Confections. And then I also get to see a place called Riley's Bakery. Um, all of them uh, make different things, uh, but similar. At the Confections, uh, Kokomo's Confections, they had uh, slices of cake. Um, at uh, Little Fox, they had some cupcakes that I wanted to get. And at Riley's, I got something that's so interesting because Riley's has been in business for over 80 years. William Riley started that company um, in 1945, and they uh, make cookies and cakes and pastries and wedding cakes and all kinds of different things. But the one thing that they had that was interesting was their uh, chocolate sundae cake. Chocolate sundae cake. I'd never even heard of it. Chocolate sundae cake. Unbelievable. So I got one of the chocolate sundae cakes. This one doesn't look the same. I do a 6 a.m. CrossFit class every single day, most every day. And my buddy David in there always asks me, hey man, you got something? He's always posting, after I post something, he's always commenting, uh, hey man, bring that by my house. So I happen to have this cake in my car at the 6 a.m. So I brought it, I said, David, I'm gonna get it after class. So I brought it in. We don't have any utensils at the CrossFit gym. So Caroline, who is a coach, she said, hey, uh, I've got one of Charlotte's uh, baby spoons. We're like, baby spoon? Awesome. That'll work perfect. So we got the baby spoon out, popped it in there, boom, David's eating it. So that's why the cake picture that you just saw does not look the same. So Riley's is, is, is an interesting place. Uh, they wear all white outfits like the 50s. Um, the company's been in business again for over 80 years. They've been in this location for over 50 years, but they make all kinds of cool stuff. But uh, they have this wonderful, I'm gonna pull it out of the box and probably make a mess, but this wonderful cake, look at that. <gasps> look at that, David. What did you do to my cake? So, I have a lot of people ask me, hey, how do you, how do you, stay, how do you stay thin and still eat all this stuff every week? Well, it's because of my wonderful gym class at Bridgeview CrossFit. They take care of me, make sure that I uh, stay fit and uh, able to eat this stuff. Not that it's on my diet, but I love eating it. So nonetheless, here we go. Look at that chocolate, vanilla with a chocolate topping. Let's see what we got here. I think I'm about to sit this down. Oh, let's see. Look at the chocolate. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm having a 
but that oh so old school I love that old school flavor like I'm eating my grandma's cake mmm that's delicious chocolate sundae cake the other two bakeries Little Fox is in the center I have a red velvet cupcake Red velvet cupcake with buttercream. <gasps> buttercream! Buttercream is one of my favorites. Realistically, they're all my favorites, but there you go. I'm going to pop that in. We're going to check it out. Buttercream. Little Fox, they're on the square in Bowling Green. I've never been there before. Cool little theater, restaurants. It's a great spot. They've got cool cupcakes, pop tarts. Uh, they got some vegan options, so it's a great place to go. But I'm going to try this right now. Mm. Oh, mm. holy moly, that buttercream is delicious. All right, this one is, if I can get it open, macadamia nut with a chocolate ganache. Now, man, I'm not the, I like chocolate, I li like chocolate is my favorite flavor, but the ganache is sometimes a little bit not creamy enough for me. It's like real dense and kind of funky, but then I'm going to try this one out. Again, macadamia with a chocolate ganache. Little Fox. Mm -hmm. Wow. That cake is really dense and good. Mm. And the ganache. Oh, that's really, really good. Mmm. Woo! That's some good dark chocolate right there. Mmm. All right, so the other two pieces came from a place called um, Kokomo's Confections. They make hand-dipped chocolates. Hand-dipped chocolates. Hand-dipped chocolates. All kinds of different chocolates. They have um, also have <clears throat> cakes that they make, full cakes, wedding cakes, bagels, uh, pastries. They have a coffee shop area there. They got ice cream. It's a really cool place. I'm going to give my notes real quick because I want to remember the names. So Maggie and Jerry are the owners. I think this place is about three years old. Uh, they have some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful chocolates there. I was hoping to get some of those, but I decided probably not a good idea. So uh, they looked delicious. But what I got there, I said, hey, if I never come back here, and this is what I use every time I go to one of these bakeries, if I never come back here again, what should I get? What is the one thing that I should get? The lady told me the strawberry cake with buttercream icing. And I said, well, what happens if I get a second slice of cake? Well, then I would get the carrot cake with the... Mm, with the cream cheese icing. So this one, my friend Jenna, who also works out at the gym with us, she told me the other day, she's like, I saw that carrot cake one and I would love to have it. So Jenna, I guess I'm gonna bring this to you, to the gym so you can eat this um, when I finish with it. So here's what we got. We got the strawberry, which is the, the, the one that they told me to get. Look at that, beautiful strawberry cake. Let's get in here and see what we got. With buttercream. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Yes. Wow. The strawberry is really, really strong and really, really good. I can see how that could be uh, their number one seller. Oh, it's beautiful. The strawberry is perfect. Uh, just really, really strawberry flavor. All right, so this one I got. I guess I have to bring to the gym for Jenna because she she loves carrot cake. So I'm gonna bring this and let her have some of this. Let's see what we got. Look at that cream cheese. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. 
There's some nuts in there. I love nuts. Maybe some coconut. Mmm. That thing is delicious. Those cakes are fantastic. All right. So what we know is Bowling Green has some great bakeries. You check them all out. All their information will be on here. Check my Instagram because I'll have some more posts of this stuff. Um, three bakeries. Riley's. Old fashioned. Cool old bakery. Little Fox. Beautiful cupcakes. Pop tarts. All kinds of wonderful things. Uh, they are fantastic as well. And Kokomo's Confections. Those are the three places that I went to this week. Hope to see you soon. I love you guys. And thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I love you. Thank you.